Hello everyone and welcome to the Gloucester County Public Library's Library Kitchen. In this episode, we're going to be making a holiday treat, gingerbread. And gingerbread, not just plain gingerbread, gingerbread with a gingerbread homemade whipped cream. And with me today at the Library Kitchen is a special guest. You should all know who this person is. Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus, hi, how are you doing? Hello, Christopher. Hello, everyone. I'm so delighted to be with you today. Well, today we're going to be making, I think, one of Santa's favorites, gingerbread. It is one of Santa's favorites. He loves gingerbread. And you know, I love to bake. In fact, I'm kind of famous for my cookies. So it's a real thrill for me to be here today to bake gingerbread with you. Well, well, the recipe that I'm making today, Mrs. Claus, is something uh, that's been in my family for about 60, 70 years now. My grandmother used to make gingerbread during the holidays for my mother when she came home from school. Your grandmother. Was your grandmother Mary? Yes, Mary Riley. I knew Mary when she was a little girl. And I knew your mother, Martha Page, when she was a little girl. Really? So this is indeed a real treat. Well, my mother actually found my grandmother's cookbook from 1946 in our attic about two months ago. And she gave that cookbook to me. The cookbook is Rumford Complete Cookbook, uh, 1946. Actually, I believe it was first published in 1908. Well... Okay. You're right, 1908 was the first edition. I knew I was. I know my cookbooks. So, do you mind reading the recipe from the cookbook for me so that I can demonstrate to everyone how to make this gingerbread? It would be my pleasure. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. So, what are we going to be using as our ingredients in this gingerbread? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to combine shortening, sugar, and molasses. So you'll need three-fourths cup of melted shortening. Okay. Well, we're going to go over to our stove real quick and get that shortening. Okay. Well, I've melted my uh, shortening in a bowl here, and I'm going to put that in my mixing bowl. So it's three-quarters of a cup of melted shortening. Right. And so now you're going to need three-quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar. And finally, three quarters of a cup of molasses. All right. Okay. All right. Let's so you need to combine that. Combine that. So we're going to use our mixer on me, uh, low speed just to combine the molasses, the shortening, and the sugar. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is add eggs. And it looks like you need two eggs beaten. All right, so we're gonna add our eggs into the mixture. So I think the batter is um, combined and we're gonna move on to our dry ingredients. Okay. So for this, Okay, so for the dry ingredients, looks like you've already got two and a half cups of sifted flour. I do. And you need two teaspoons of baking powder. Uh-huh. And the next ingredient? Will be a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, our salt. Our baking powder. Mm -hmm. And... Then you'll need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And that's both in this bowl. Oh, okay. And then you need one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger. And this is our ginger. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And this is our cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon each of ground cloves and nutmeg. All right. Cloves, nutmeg. And for this recipe, there was a notation in the cookbook my grandmother made where she would add a pinch 
of white pepper. And it gives that gingerbread just a little something extra. A little spice. A little spice. Yeah. All right. Okay. And I'm going to use my whisk and I'm going to combine the ingredients with the flour and mix it very well. Okay, so it looks like you've mixed your dry ingredients. And now it says to add the dry ingredients to your wet ingredients, alternating with hot water. Right. It looks like a cup of hot water. So I'm going to first put in about a third of my flour mixture into my wet batter. And I'll put in about a third of my water. And I'm going to mix just to get it combined. Alright, I'm going to continue alternating my dry ingredients and my water into the batter. So one more third. And this just takes a little patience. Just to add your water, your dry ingredients to the batter and mix well. And the last of our ingredients. And the last little bit of water. And we're going to now mix uh, thoroughly and make sure we don't have any pockets of any dry flour um, in our batter, uh, which should take about maybe 30 seconds to a minute. You may need to stop halfway through and scrape down any uh, dry flour that has accumulated on the side of your mixing bowl. So just stop, scrape down any bits of dry flour and continue to mix until smooth. All right. That Doesn't that great. look good? Looks so great. you can see our batter is like a thick cake batter. So our next step would be to put it in the pan. Put it in the pan. So we are using an 8 inch pan. You can use a round or a square. Uh, just make sure that you either butter and flour the pan well or I like to use Baker's Joy. Just coat your pan on all sides and in the bottom really well. And Mrs. Claus, you had made a comment earlier that you had, had a special a, ingredient to add to I our batter. A special ingredient. And I, I'm so honored that you're going to let me add it to your grandma's recipe. This is an ingredient I add to all of the cookies and cakes I bake for Santa. It's called Christmas cheer. So let's add a little of that. Oh, thank you. We're going to mix in the Christmas cheer really good. Oh, and once you put it in the pan, be sure that when you put it in the oven, you bake it with love. Now we'll be baking our gingerbread in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. So we're going to get this in the pan, get it in the oven, and we'll be back in 45 minutes. Well, it's been about 45 minutes and our cake has uh, been in the oven and cooked. And I inserted a toothpick at about the 40 minute mark just to check to see. Um, when you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean, that's when you know your gingerbread is done. And it took for us about 45 minutes at 350. So we're laying this cool on the table. We're going to be making a homemade whipped cream topping for this gingerbread. Now, just not any whipped cream topping. Of it's going to be, of course not. <laughs> it's going to be gingerbread whipped topping. 
So, Ooh, that sounds so good. It is to die for. And could I tell you one thing, Christopher? Sure. It smells like Christmas in this kitchen. Well, we're going to start with one cup of heavy whipping cream in a stainless steel bowl that I have put in our freezer for about an hour. So you want this, uh, your whipping cream extremely cold as well as the mixing bowl that you're going to be making the whipped cream in. So we're going to put that there. We're going to this add one tablespoon of confectioner sugar. We're going to be adding a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to be adding a fourth of a teaspoon, eighth to a fourth of a teaspoon. Depends on how spicy you want your whipped cream. I use um, an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger, nutmeg, allspice, um, and cinnamon in this whipped cream. So these four ingredients will go into the mixture. And then we're going to beat for about one to two minutes until we start having some soft peaks. Well, we've beat our whipped cream for about two, two and a half minutes. And you can see we have got some nice stiff peaks here. Nice whipped cream. Oh, that looks like snow. It does. It does. <laughs> and it tastes divine. So let's go ahead and cut our gingerbread and have a taste. There you go. Wow, that was great. All right, so let's cut a slice of our gingerbread. But first, we're going to take a little powdered sugar. And what I like to do is put a doily on the top of my gingerbread with a little powdered sugar. And it just looks like snow on the top of my gingerbread. Very nice, very right. nice. So our gingerbread is ready to be cut and plated. And so after sprinkling the powdered sugar on, I'm just gonna cut our gingerbread kind of like a slice of, uh, of pie. If you use a uh, square pan, um, you know, it's, it's more like a brownie. So we're gonna... Oh my, that is truly beautiful. <laughs> All right. Now what I like to do is to put a little dollop of the whipped cream right here beside the gingerbread. And then at the very end, I like to take a little cinnamon and dust the whipped cream with a little bit of cinnamon. Well, Mrs. Claus, I'd like to thank you for being here at the Library Kitchen. It was my pleasure. I always enjoy a chance to have good gingerbread. And I'm going to try this recipe with Santa because I know he'll love it. And by the way, I will be back here on December 12th with Santa to visit with the boys and girls in Gloucester. So if you're interested in coming to see Santa on December 12th, you can call the Gloucester Library at 804-693-2998 to make a reservation. And I do want to say that I do always enjoy visiting with my friends here at the library because everyone is on the nice list. And I know you're on the nice list too. And you're on the nice list with the gingerbread. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you. Thank you.